A Fairy Tale Hansel and Gretel Once upon a time, deep in the forest, lived a woodcutter, his wife, and their two children Hansel and Gretel. One terribly cold winter the woodcutter's wife fell ill and she died. After some time the woodcutter decided to get married again. Sadly, he got married to a woman who was not kind or gentle. She was cruel and selfish and she always wanted to be rich. All she wanted to do was to eat fancy food like roasted beef, mashed potatoes, peas, corn, lemon cakes and exotic fruits. Soup and bread. Soup and bread. Every day, soup and bread. I am tired of soup and bread, as she screamed. The stepmother was extra cruel to Hansel and Gretel. She believed that they were poor because of the two children. She wanted to get rid of the children. One day, while the woodcutter was busy cutting wood in the forest, the stepmother called Hansel and Gretel into the kitchen. We have nothing to make soup for dinner, the stepmother said. We can't go hungry tonight. Go to the forest and pick some mushrooms to make a soup. Next, she gave Hansel and Gretel the most confusing directions ever. Walk north for two hours. Turn left at the tall trees. Turn east and walk for twenty minutes. Go straight ahead, cross the stream. Then turn right back to the main road. Go through the hole in the fence. Walk under the bridge. From there, you have to go just three miles and you will find world's best mushrooms under a big oak tree. Hurry up and start now so that you can be back by dinner. Hansel and Gretel were scared. They knew they would get lost in that big dark forest. Don't worry, I have a good plan. Hansel whispered to Gretel. He went to the back of the house and filled his pockets with white pebbles from their garden. Then they started walking, following their stepmother's directions. However, Every few steps Hansel dropped a small white pebble on the ground. They walked for hours and hours but found no mushrooms. Gretel started crying. But Hansel did not worry. He waited until the moon rose. Soon, bright rays of moonlight fell on the pebbles on the ground, making them glow. Following the trail of pebbles, Hansel and Gretel found their way back to reach home. Their stepmother was furious. She never thought the children would find their way back. You little fools! Where are the mushrooms? Ishi shouted. Now, we have nothing to eat. You will have no dinner tonight. Go straight to bed, as she screamed. Children went to bed hungry. Next morning, after their father left for work, the stepmother woke the children up. Wake up, you fools. Today is your father's birthday. I want to make an apple pie for his birthday dinner. Go into the forest and pick some apples. But this time, I am going to come with you to show the apple tree. Giving them a loaf of bread for lunch, she rushed them out of the house. Poor Hansel had no time to collect pebbles. But clever Hansel still had a plan. Without eating their bread, he pulled tiny bread crumbs out of the loaf. Every few steps, he dropped a crumb to mark the path. They followed their stepmother taking one path after the other, 
turning from one corner to the other. Further, further, the stepmother kept saying. Finally, going deep into the forest, they came to a very dark part of the forest. Stepmother sat down to rest. The apple tree is over there, as she pointed. Hansel and Gretel walked deeper into the forest, but they saw no apple tree. Where is it? Ere they shouted back. A little further, either stepmother shouted from a distance. Hansel and Gretel walked further, going deeper into the forest, but saw no apple tree. Where? Ee, they called out again. Just a little further, ee, her faint voice was heard by the children. Hansel and Gretel walked and walked, deeper and deeper into the forest. There was no apple tree. Where? Ee, they shouted back, but there was no stepmother. She was gone. Oh, no. We are lost. Gretel said and started crying. Don't worry, I have a plan, he said Hansel. He turned around hoping to find the crumbs, but alas. Hungry birds had eaten all. I am scared. I am cold and hungry and I want to go home. A Gretel wept. Everything will be all right. Don't worry, E. Hansel was trying to be brave. It was getting late and that night Hansel and Gretel slept on some soft bushes to keep themselves warm. When they woke up, the sun was shining and birds were singing. There was a smell of delicious food in the air. Oh, I am so hungry, is said Gretel. I think I smell cookies. Look! Hansel pointed at something. That's a house. We are so lucky. This was a strange house. Its walls were made of yellow lemon cookies and windows were made of chocolate. The roof looked like it was made of red and green candies. Starving Hansel ran to the house and broke off a piece of the wall. This tastes like a lemon cookie, he said in surprise. Gretel grabbed a piece of a window and stuffed her mouth. It is chocolate and melts in my mouth, is she said. Two children went on eating. We should stay here forever, E. Hansel said while she munched a piece of the apple porch. They were just about to bite the doorknob of the purple candy door when it swung open. Hello, E. An old woman appeared from behind the door. Do you like more sweets, children? I have more inside the house. Come in, come in. Don't be afraid. The kind and friendly old woman opened the door and the children went in. Poor Hansel and Gretel. They did not know the old woman was an evil witch. As soon as they went inside, the witch slammed the door shut and locked it. The children were trapped. Grabbing Hansel by his wrists, she said, E.O., -oh, you are too thin. I must fatten you up before I eat you. Then she pushed Hansel into a cage and locked it. Next she turned to Gretel. Foolish girl. You will first do my household chores. Then I will lead you too. Hansel began to cry. A please don't eat me, he begged the witch. But Gretel was calm because she had a plan. She quietly reached her brother with a twig in her hand. Tomorrow morning, 
When the witch comes to check whether you are fat enough to eat you, give her the stick instead of your hand, Ishi said. Sure enough, the next morning, the old witch hobbled over to Hansel in the darkness of the room. She growled. Stick your hand out through the cage. I want to see if you are fat enough to eat. Hansel held out the twig. You are too thin, Ishi complained. You foolish girl, come here and give your brother more sweets to eat. This continued for an entire week. Every day, the witch checked whether Hansel was fat enough. Every day Hansel held out the same twig. Finally, the witch could not take it anymore. On the eighth day, she shouted at Gretel. Come here, you foolish girl. Light the oven. Today my meal would be a roasted boy with carrots and gravy. Now, check if the oven is hot enough to roast your brother. Clever little Gretel had another plan. She started to cry. But I am so stupid. How do I know if the oven is hot enough? Can you show me? Ishi asked. The witch muttered quite displeased. Useless child, I will do it myself. The witch bent down to look at the bright orange flames and Gretel quickly pushed her into the oven. Thud she slammed the door shut. That was the end of the witch. Gretel unlocked Hansel's cage. They found a basket and filled it with cake and cookies, pies and candies and ran away as fast as they could. They ran all the way home. Their father was thrilled to see them. Hansel and Gretel told their father how the stepmother abandoned them in the forest. He was furious to hear this. That very night their father asked the stepmother to leave the house. He ordered her to leave immediately and never return. Hansel and Gretel never saw her again. That night they had a late birthday party for their father. They ate all the sweets from the basket, cherry pie, chocolate cake, green and red candies, lollipops and gingerbread cookies.